This video is sponsored by DA Lubricant Company. Give your fleet bumper to bumper protection. Visit DALube.com to learn more. Hello, hello. How good it is to see you again in these hollowed trucking halls, my healthy trucking friend. What's the scoop, you say? Use your senses, it's the scoop. Goblets packed with greases, grails ladled to the brim with oils. It seems I have research to do, be I to follow through with my pledge to make my truck engines run like new. This all with a little help from some black goo. Perhaps I can pass on whatever I review to you, too. FA4, CK4, is adoption slow? If so, no more. Quoth the fleet manager, nevermore. Lubricants is a special topic, one which I adore. So come hear more, I have plenty in store to share, I implore. We don't want your trucks to have that roar, that sore roar, the sound of those inefficient lubes which are poor. In fact, allow me to slew at you, there's no need to toil. The tale of the inefficient engine oils. Ah! <laughs> API CK4 and FA4 oils were released in 2016, and you've likely heard a lot about them at the time when they were known as PC11. So five years later, how widely used are these new oils? It's been a bit of a mixed bag. While CK4 is a direct upgrade of the previous CJ4 category and has replaced it throughout the industry, FA4 adoption has been slow. Given the performance benefit offered by API FA4, it's fair to say that collective lubricant and OEM industries expected greater growth. Some speculate the main barrier to adoption has been the mix of fleet. If you look at the US market as a whole, the number of heavy duty trucks with engines approved for API FA4 is relatively high. But in practical terms, if a fleet has 100 trucks but just one engine is not approved for FA4, they probably won't adopt FA4. That said, the industry is seeing a notable uptake from those fleets that were early adopters of 10W30. These are typically fleets accumulating high mileage per unit, which therefore have high fuel costs and fleets with truck ages in the two to four year range. Adoption rates aside, the oil companies report that fleets who are able to adopt these lower viscosity FA4 and CK4 oils will likely see savings. To explain, I invited onto the show a real master in this stuff, DA Lubricant's heavy duty expert, Jim Selman. The trend has been for a while now for both on highway, off highway, and passenger to come motor oils to go to a lighter viscosity oil. So obviously a heavier fluid is gonna have more resistance than a lighter fluid. So with lighter viscosity oils, uh, it can affect and improve fuel economy. Another aspect on that is uh, use of synthetics, partial or full synthetics, and there are different types of those that can be utilized. The, the nice thing about the synthetics are they're slippery. They bring a couple other things to the table, but in layman's terms, they're, they're slippery. Reduce friction even farther. To demonstrate the savings a fleet could potentially see by switching to these oils, Jim touted DA's fuel economy calculator, available on their website at dalube.com forward slash F dash E dash calc. He gave this example. Let's say you travel 120,000 miles per year and you have 150 trucks that get about nine miles per gallon. Then you put in the cost of diesel fuel in your area, we'll call it $3.10 in this case, and calculate. Scroll down on the page a bit and you can view the annual expected savings per truck. I mean, we're talking if you have a 200 vehicles in a fleet, you're, you're spending 40 some thousand dollars a year on fuel for these things annually. Again, these are just estimates we put out there. There's a substantial amount of savings that can be saved by using just a lighter grade of oil, not changing anything else. So CK4 and FA4 engine oils are great options today, sure, but what can we expect in the future? The ongoing quest for better performing, longer lasting products has led to dramatically improved finished lubricants. CK4 and FA4 oils is an example of this. As new engines emerge demanding more performance for less emissions, new oils will emerge with them. It is possible we could even end up seeing very low viscosities like 5W20 in the years ahead. One of the largest costs for over the road fleets is fuel. 
If you can improve fuel economy by just one or two MPG, depending on fleet size, annual savings could be in hundreds of thousands, if not millions, for a fleet with 200 trucks or more. The key will be to deliver these viscosities without sacrificing wear control. And at these low viscosities, that will likely require novel additives and formulating. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.